Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Stock Market Crash Channel. Welcome back. I have a segment that was doing quite well for this channel prior to this one. It's about Bitcoin descending to $10,000 or below. And I don't want that to happen. I am not gleeful in any way. Let's put it this way. I like Peter Schiff. I think he's fantastic. But I'm not like, I don't have that philosophy. Peter Schiff and others, Charlie Munger, these are extremely intelligent investors, billionaires in some cases. They derive glee or satisfaction or their vantage point is they don't like Bitcoin, they don't like cryptocurrencies, and they're trying to tell the world that Bitcoin is worthless. And the, the, the farther down it descends, the more they feel justified. I'm not doing that and I'm not like that. I am telling the world, I'm giving the world my viewpoint. I have a stock market crash channel for a reason. I predicted the stock market crash in the Federalist below in the pinned comment. My article was published in October of 2021. Read the article below in the pinned comment. I have a stock market crash playlist on my main channel, H.A. Goodman. I'm going to have a live stream on there in about when you watch this, very likely the, the live stream will be will be taking place. It's it's going to be at 8 p.m. Pacific tonight. So, in about 20 minutes from now. But I want to just explain why Bitcoin, and I'm very passionate about this. If you look, Bitcoin's going to get down to below 10,000, 10, almost certainly below 10,000. And I want to just read you, Coinbase Global Inc., the largest U.S. crypto exchange, said institutional investors as a whole traded $1.14 trillion of cryptocurrencies in 2021, up from $120 billion the year before, and more than twice the $535 billion for individual investors. Okay, so from what I understand, Coinbase is going through a great deal of problems. I explained that in my last segment, my segment prior to this one, even telling customers that, oh, by the way, you might lose all your crypto if, we go, if they go bankrupt. But in addition to that, in addition to people getting their Bitcoin hacked and possibly taken from them if an exchange goes bankrupt, in addition to more regulations and in addition to the idealism behind the, 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 the philosophy, the idealism, the emphasis on how crypto and, and Bitcoin will change the future of capitalism and business and economics, that is very intriguing to me. I understand the philosophy behind it. Or I should say, I appreciate a lot of the philosophy behind it. And I'm not one of the people that just don't like Bitcoin and just trying to uh, spread fear, uncertainty, and doubt. However, if the, sky, if the writing is on the wall, it's not fear, uncertainty, and doubt. It's telling the world, hey, if you invest in this, from my vantage point, based on the research that I've done, especially considering the fact that I did tell everybody this market is going to tank and we're nowhere near the bottom. The $1.4 trillion in cryptocurrencies in 2021, when you have institutional investors trading $1.14 trillion, you're going to see what happened with Terra Luna. Hedge funds, likely, although they're pushing back, had a lot to do with tanking Terra Luna. So... You're looking at within the span of a month or so, less than a month, goes from $119 to now 0 .00015 uh, cents. So I don't, I don't think that's going to happen to Bitcoin, but what I'm trying to tell everybody is the following. When you have... Ladies and gentlemen, a NASDAQ that's getting pummeled. The appetite for risk is non-existent in this market. We're going into a recession. So the NASDAQ is at 11 
4,662. It started the year 4,170 points higher. It's going to end this year a lot lower than 11,000. A lot lower. We're going into a recession. We have 8 to 9% inflation, but Bloomberg says inflation's new normal will be 4%. Get used to it. My point is that in institutional investors and hedge funds are going to sell their Bitcoin. The price is going to collapse. The hedge funds and institutional investors that began buying up hundreds of billions of dollars in Bitcoin, those same institutional investors or investment banks or hedge funds are going to need to sell because the market's going to continue to tank. Some of them might have margin calls like Archegos. And then you have a little bit of um, something that's not healthy within the Bitcoin and crypto and Ethereum scene. It's, oh, well, look at, you know, this country or this um, investment bank is doing business with Bitcoin or, or trading Bitcoin. It's like, well, okay, Morgan Stanley is involved with cryptocurrencies, great, but there, that doesn't mean that they don't, they're not involved with catastrophic losses. Morgan Stanley books Archegos loss, but profits uh, hit a high. So this is last year. They, they actually, their, their earnings weren't great this year, but this is last year. They had a lot to. They lost $911 million when Archegos Capital Management imploded. They're not, it's not like just because Morgan, Morgan Stanley uh, invests in Bitcoin or or has an ex or, or or helps people invest or uh, you know offers uh, an exchange or a way to purchase buy and sell Bitcoin just because you have a development that's positive or favorable that I'm trying to say that doesn't mean that you have all of these like catchphrases this this kind of philosophy behind an investment you money shouldn't you shouldn't have any like catchphrase like to the moon or whatever. You, you shouldn't have any kind of philosophy or idealism tied to money. You need if if anything you do with money, especially investing. And believe me, I saw the dot com bubble with my own eyes. the the dot The dot com bubble is just like what's taking place now, but this is infinitely worse because you have social media, and you have a new type of of currency that isn't even close to replacing or even being a competitor with the US dollar. People say, you might hear this and say, you're just, you know, you're just, um, you don't know what's going on. You're a boomer. You don't know anything. You just, you know, you don't, you don't understand Bitcoin. I might not understand Bitcoin as well as you do if you're watching and think I'm, I'm nuts. But I, I, and I'm not, I'm not trying to disparage the idealism or the philosophy, because there is a lot of good. Although you had Canada freeze Bitcoin. So it's like a lot of the idealism, like you have Coinbase locking people out of their accounts. A lot of the idealism is facing a reality check this year, especially not just with the price going down, but with, with a lot of things taking place that shouldn't have been taking place, taken, shouldn't, have been happening with Bitcoin if indeed it lived up to the potential people believe it has. And so the price is going to go down at 10,000 or below. I actually have a very likely below, almost certainly below. I actually have a channel that I'm devoting to this and I'll still be talking about, uh, I have a channel that I'm uh, uh, devoting to this <clears throat> And that's coming out soon. It used to be my comedy and satire channel. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, you're looking at inflation. Inflation at 8 to 9%, contracting GDP growth. We're, en we're entering a recession. We still have geopolitical nightmares in Europe. The biggest and most devastating in modern, uh, modern European history. This is not an environment where large institutions, hedge funds, investment banks want to gamble. If you get anything from this, it's that the 29,000 it's at now, it will descend very quickly or within the next year or within the next year and a half. I don't know when it's going to happen. It could happen next month, could happen in a year and a half from now, but it'll be at around 10,000 or below. 
It could even be at five or six thousand. And you say that's not that's nonsense. Unfortunately, that's going to be the case. And I don't believe me. I always want to make certain that I that you understand if you're watching this, if you happen to stumble upon this, that I don't want this to happen. Unfortunately, it's going to take place. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. Thank you. And be out on my main channel, H. A. Goodman, right now for the live stream. Thank you.